Hello everybody, this is Johnny27's R World and I'm back with another R World video, this time about the best tips and tricks and how to use the Critter Garden, along with all the eggs and which ones are the best to farm in the Critter Garden. So before we begin, um, before I started making this video, this person was whisper chatting me. So she said, hello people, and I'm just going to put her in the video because I can. So hello to M Tajmira. I hope that was pronounced right. Alright, so, let's start by going to the Critter Garden. And start with the tips. Okay, so the first tip is to upgrade your nests as high as possible. So the upgraded nests yield a bigger profit and a bigger chance to get um, mutants or blacks or whites. So as you see right here, the critters sell for 30% more than they normally would in a level 4 nest. And the chance to hatch a rare one, like a white, black, or mutant, as you see right here, white, black, or mutants, are 30%. So 30% of your eggs are going to be white, black, or mutant. Versus if you only have a level 1 nest, I believe there's they sell for 0% more and there's no chance... Maybe it's 10%. They sell for 10% more, and there's no chance of a mutant. Level 2, I think, is 15%. And level 3 is 20%. And then level 4 is 30%. So upgrade your nest as high as possible. It does cost gems, but those gems are well spent. And speaking of gems, we're up to tip number 2, which is buy upgrades for your critter garden. Now, there are essential upgrades, and upgrades are just helpful to have. So the golden egg is the cheapest upgrade, and I'd say you should definitely get it if you have enough gems. I think it's only 12 gems. What it does is it allows you to lay eggs, like instead of going here, clicking that, and clicking that, and then verifying. It it tells it lets you only do that once, and then you can just click on every nest, and it places that previous egg right there. So that's awesome obviously a really great upgrade to get and then the second one i would definitely recommend is the quick seller which when you click it hatched eggs it says all your eggs at once which is um easy great because you don't have to click on the egg then click sell click on the egg click sell click on the egg click sell it's much easier and then the other three are still good but they, i don't think they're as good because they only require one click to do normally like the golden broom cleans up all your nests the omni hatch hatches all your eggs at once and then the golden hammer is special because if you're not online it allows a friend who's online to hatch your eggs for you all right so that's it with tip number two and tip number three is to if you're doing the Critter Garden, make sure you're actually doing it and don't forget about it. Since the Critter Garden is one of those things you might forget about. So when you lay eggs, remember about it and come back. Because otherwise you lose that and you're not getting any profit. Versus if you do lay eggs and remember and come back and hatch them in time, you do gain profit. So, on to egg statistics and which one is the best to use. So, each eggs have their own um, up pros and their own cons. So there's pros and cons to every single egg. Like the sheep egg and the forest fairy, these eggs are great at the beginning because you don't have any of the other eggs. But of course, once you do have the other eggs, they're horrible because they don't have as much profit. And the sheep egg is great if you want a short time. This is only four hours. And the ghostly ghost egg is good if you know you're not going to be on for four days because it hatches in four days. So I'm going to start by reading off the egg its cost price and its sell price and the profit you get, and then the profit per hour, which is the deciding factor in which is the best egg. So the sheep egg has a profit of um, sell cost of 50, and it sells for 62. And now the profit and the profit per hour are based only on the sell back, not on the 30% plus more you get from these nests. So you get a 12, you get um a 12 coin profit. That's three profit per hour. Or three coin profit per hour. I'm not going to read this. You can just read this on your own. The 62, the 4, and the 50. I'm just going to read the profit and the profit per hour. Onto the forest fairy egg. Um, its profit is 45 coins. Profit per hour is 1.875. And the ghostly ghost egg has um, 150 profit. And its profit per hour is 1.5625 coins per hour. So as you can see, surprisingly, the sheep egg is actually the best of these three eggs to lay. Because it has... um excuse me, has the highest profit per hour because these take a lot longer to hatch, hence the lower profit per hour. All right, on to the dolphin egg. Profit of 30, profit per hour of 3, same as the sea egg. Sun fairy egg, 
um, profit of 120, profit per hour of 2.5. And now onto the Puff Puff Trio egg. So after every five eggs, you'll get a six special egg, which you can't unlock just by um, egg hatching and laying. You have to unlock this a special way. So there's, um, I think there's five of them, and then you unlock them by laying a certain amount of every egg. So you have to lay five of these five eggs to get the Puff Puff Trio, 10 of the next five to get the next special, 15 of the next to get the next special, and so on and so forth. So the Puff Puff Trio, since it is a special egg, has the best profit out of the previous five. This has profit of 55 and a profit per hour of 4.583. So Puff Puff Trio eggs, it is a special egg, but it has the highest profit per hour of all the previous ones. So on to the Owl Egg. Profit of 49, profit per hour of about 3. Shark Egg, profit 35, profit per hour of about 4.375, which is higher than the um, Owl Egg. Winged Snake Egg, profit about is 217, profit per hour is about 3. Octopus Egg, profit is 32, and profit per hour is 5.3. It's 5.3, that's the highest profit per hour yet. But wait till you see the Bat Egg. The Bat Egg has a profit of only 15 which is the second lowest profit per hour so far. I mean, profit total so far, but it has a 7.5 profit. And this is because it's only two hours to hatch and sell. So this egg is definitely one of the better ones to get since it only takes two hours to hatch and sell. And you get 7.5 profit per hour. So best profit based on your money. Of course, if you're not going to be on every two hours, that's when you definitely want to go for the longer eggs, like one day or two day eggs because um, you don't have to constantly be getting on and off. So here's the second special egg. You have to hatch t 10 of the five previous ones to get this one. And this one hatches only one hour, so it has the highest profit per hour so far, which is nine coins, because it has a profit of nine, so a profit per hour of nine. So that's the best use of your time so far. On to the Lightning Fairy, profit of 84, profit per hour of 3.5. Magnafish, profit of 24, profit per hour of 6. Ghostly Cat, profit of 48, profit per hour of 4.8, obviously. Um, Sky Fairy, profit of 330, which is the highest profit so far, and profit per hour of about 3.4. Frog Egg, profit of 35, profit per hour of 5.83. And Auto Bro Egg, which is the third special egg, you have to hatch 15 of the previous five. Auto Robo, rather, not Auto Bro, Auto Robo. Um, profit of 60 and profit per hour of 7.5, which is tied for second highest so far. On to the Goofy Spider Egg. Profit of 227, profit per hour of 4.7 or so. Giant Butterfly Egg, profit of 65, profit per hour of 5.4 or so. Raptor Egg, which has the highest profit now so far of 351, and profit per hour of about 4.875. Giant Teddy Bear Egg is profit of 97, profit per hour of about 6. Hawk Egg is a profit of 32, profit per hour of about 8, which is second highest so far right now. And then we come to the fourth, one, two, three, yeah, the fourth special egg, which is the Yippee Monster Egg. And you have to hatch 20 of the previous ones in order to unlock this one. And this is the best profit per hour egg in the entire Critter Garden system, which is 13 coins profit per hour, 13 coins profit. So, this one is definitely the best one to hatch, and definitely the best one to sell, but only if you're going to be on, like, every hour. If you're not going to be on every hour, I'd recommend, like, a one-day or two-day egg. Four-day eggs, I would not recommend unless you're not going to be on for four days, because they don't have as high of a profit per hour and not the best use of your time. So, on to the last set of eggs, Pink Punk Egg. Profit of um, profit of 60, profit per hour of 7.5, tied for third highest, I think. I think. I'm not sure. Water Fairy Egg, profit of 146, profit per hour of about 6. Caterfly Egg, profit of 49, profit per hour of about 8.1. Basilisk Egg, which is a profit of 594. This is the highest profit ever, but it is a four-day egg. So this is the highest profit out of all of the eggs. But it takes four days to hatch, and therefore only has a profit per hour of 6.1. You can definitely get better profit per hour. On to the last two. Puffle Egg is um, a profit of 76 and a profit per hour of 7.6. And on to the last special egg, the Fluffy Corn Egg. You have to hatch... Um, I think 20 or 25 of the five previous ones to unlock this. 
and this hatches in 10 hours, but has a profit of 110 coins and a profit per hour of 9.16 coins. So, that's all of the eggs right now. I'm AFK now since I haven't been doing anything. Hey, you recording? Yes, I am. Congratulations on getting in the video just like Tajmira. Anyways, so, some more tips on the egg hatching. Eggs survive in the nest for um, another hatch duration. So, if you lay in one hour egg, it'll survive for another hour. So, you can come back one hour and 59 minutes later, and it'll still be there ready to hatch. But if you come out back two hours and one minute later, it'll have escaped. So, a four-day egg can survive for over a week in the nest without hatching. Which is why the golden hammer helps for, like, slower eggs. So, you can get a friend to get on in case they see a critter garden. So that's pretty much all the tips I have for today. And the reason I decided to make this video is because lately I've been making videos on ha the best ways to get coins for like residents and Zoys clubs like the nesting method or the marketplace method. So I decided to make a um, coin video or a video on how to get coins and the best way to use the Critter Garden and this is relevant to everybody. So I think this is great. I hope you think this is great as well. Um, be sure to leave a like, be sure to subscribe, be sure to comment any other tips you have about the Critter Garden. And before I go, I just want to say one thing. I've personally been wondering about this a while, and I don't know if you have or not, but if you look in the Critter Stats, there's this one egg that's locked, and it's always permanently locked. And I don't know if, like, this is a glitch by Arrow World. They haven't yet to remove it. A lot of people think this is, like, the special egg from way back, like, um, the Arctic Wolf egg, but I'm not exactly sure. Um, it might not be, it might be a glitch, it might be you have to, like, hatch a crazy amount of eggs and then you unlock it. I think it's just a glitch, actually. But, I don't know. Tell me what you think down in the comments, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.